The following diagram shows that angle ABC with AB is 7, AC is 12, and an angle BAC is 116 degrees. Question A. Find the length of BC. So BC is required, and you can see that 1, 2, 3 sides and an angle are involved, so a cosine rule can be applied. Notice that you cannot apply a sine rule. Why? Because you need no an angle C or an angle B, but angles B and C are not uh, given. And a formula for the cosine rule is given in a data booklet, and it says that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times cosine of the angle C. And notice that this side and this angle are opposite, and the only known angle A to be involved, I write uh, cosine rule for the side BC. It's not because uh, I need BC, it's because there is only one uh, given angle. If it would be given, for example, an angle B instead of an angle A, I should write a cosine rule for AC and then solve for BC. So BC squared is AC squared plus AB squared minus 2 times AC times AB times cosine of BAC. Hence, BC is the square root of AC 12 squared plus 7 squared minus 2 times 12 times 7 times cosine of 116 degrees. And using a calculator, it becomes 100. And first of all, we should check there must be degree mode. And it becomes 144 plus 49 minus. 24 times 7 times cosine of 116 and then a square root and it's 16.3 to three significant figures question b find an angle acb so you can see that you can apply a sine rule BC is found and it becomes what 7 over sine of C and it's BC over sine of A and you can solve for C and notice that when you use uh, the inverse uh, sine calculator says uh, an obtuse angle, it's uh, from 0 to 90 only, but if it's about a triangle, uh, possible range for angles uh, is from 0 to 180, and in general there are two possible solutions, this from 0 to 90 and 180 minus this angle. For example, if sine of some angle is 0 0.5, calculator says that it's 30, but 150 is also a possible solution. But here, since A is an obtuse, it's uh, uh, greater than 90, it's uh, impossible that C also be greater uh, than 90. So definitely C is an acute, it's less than 90. Or Again, one, two, three sides and an angle are involved, so we can use uh, cosine rule uh, directly for cosine of C. Formula is given in the data booklet, and it says that cosine of ACB is and minus this side with minus it's opposite. It's opposite, so it will be minus uh, AB squared. And here it's AC squared plus 
b c squared and divided by 2 times a c times b c. So b c squared is this 266.6 four six and so on plus twelve squared and minus seven squared then divided by two divided by uh, twelve and divided by uh, sixteen point three two nine three and so on so cosine is 0 0.92279 and so on. Hence, the angle ACB is just the inverse cosine of the answer. And you can see it's uh, 22 point seven to three significant figures degrees the next question the following diagram shows a circle with center O the area of a triangle AOB is 26 centimeters squared and angle AOB is 2.51 regions find the length of arc ACB this arc formula for the length of arc is given in a data booklet and it's what it's radius times theta theta must be in radians uh, uh, and definitely radius uh, should be found firstly and we can find it uh, from what the area of triangle AOB and what is the area of triangle AOB it's a half uh, times one side times another side times sine of the angle between them so it becomes a half times OA times OB times sine of 2.51 uh, 2 which is AOB and OA and OB are radiuses so it becomes a half radius squared times sine of 2.51 and it's 26 so radius can be found and it's, it becomes what 52 divided by sine and then square root and first of all there must be radian mode and it becomes 52 divided by sine of 2.51 and then square root and it's uh, 9.38 to 3 significant figures centimeters and then the length of arc ACB becomes formula is given in the data booklet and it says that it's uh, R times theta theta must be in radians and where is theta it's uh, where is the corresponding angle it's this one and it's what it's 2 pi minus 2.51 uh, so R multiplied by 2 pi minus 2.51 and it becomes 35.5 four to three significant figures centimeters and that's all for this question